Here is the rest of the hunt from our previous video. We're going to look for more fossils along the beach and when I get home, show a dinosaur footprint. Oh, there is. <laughs> Looks like there's a perfect dominate inside it. Nice big pirate eye though, nice. Right? Probably a half fossils. Just noticed here a huge half of a phylloceros ammonite. One of the biggest ammonites around here. So this is the massive outer whirl and it would have coiled round a bit more there, but all this bit's missing. I'll keep my eye out on the other half of that actually. the reverse uh, so if you found the other half of this nodule you could glue it together and prepare it from underneath and it'd be perfect so hopefully we do but i think it's unlikely considering how many rocks there are around here and how much the beach has been scattered there's also some fossil coral next to it Leave it there for someone else to find anyway. That looks promising. All the calcite chambers. It's already got a crack. that we found. It already has the crack going around it so we're gonna hopefully open it up with the hammer. Oh, that's a lovely one. So these generally look really nice when you put them in the water or put some varnish on them. That's how it is currently. Wet it a little bit. Looks really nice. It emphasises all the lovely white and brown calcite. Very nice. Here's another rock we found. You can see the ammonite just there. So hopefully we can open it up. Okay, that's fine. Very nice. It's actually quite red, they don't usually look that colour. Pretty good.
doesn't seem to be too much around on this part of the beach. Quite a few partial ammonites though. There's a nice fossil. Nice big imprint. And looking around the side of it, there's a load more ammonites inside. There's also actually a little coprolite in the centre. Very interesting. Heading back now, we've got quite a few ammonite finds and saw a few other little bits and pieces. When I get home, I'll show a dinosaur footprint and maybe something else. We're back home now and I've lifted out the dinosaur footprint, so let's go and have a look at it. So here it is. So it might be hard to make out at first, but here's one toe, here's the middle, and there's the third. So it's a big three-toed dinosaur and footprints around here, they're not particularly rare but to get them nice and pronounced and 3D isn't too common. Usually if you ever see them they're in enormous sandstone blocks but this one had just fallen out. It was just in this much smaller block so it was worth bringing this bit home. I'm not entirely sure what type of dinosaur it is. I'm not entirely sure what type of dinosaur it's from, but if anyone does know, it'd be really interesting to find out. And something else I showed in the video was this Phylloceros ammonite that we found. So here's a look at it at home. So it's got this edge piece missing, unfortunately, but that's just the way it goes. So we'll probably be able to just make that up, depending on what it looks like. But the middle of the ammonite should be 3D. Usually they're crushed, especially when they get really big. And this is really the only other of this species that I've found. I don't seem to have much luck with this, this type. But this one is my favourite so far. Uh, probably gonna prepare it from the back that's why we started taking some of this rock off but it's a project for the future i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll get back down to the beach soon